Uh, All right, let's start over. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna put the baby in the room. Start over. Yeah, now start over. No, start well, that over. Was good. I can't. I can't remember what I said. Cause my mom was a little weak. She got a big old like, booty like, right. <laughs> 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 What up you guys and we are back with another video or I am back with another video and I am like So today we got Jeremiah and I got Lauren in the video in the cut ready for this lit video So today is gonna be uh, do's and don'ts in a relationship Okay, oh, let me take out my mine. phone. I forgot. Let me take out my phone. Jeremiah, you got yours? Yeah, it's all, in the, it's all in the brain. Oh. Okay, my first do is spoil them. Guys, girls love to feel important, and then girls, guys like to feel, they like to feel special too. So when you say spoil them, it's for you to Like, the no, girl. like, okay, like, like little things, like, you know, buy them something here and there. Like, you know, yeah, you want to let them know that you're thinking of Also, oh, so buy your significant other something. Yeah, right. like buy them something. Like yeah, this one. is in a relationship though. So let's keep that in mind. Yeah, like, yeah, this is all in a relationship. Um, take turns, like 50-50. So like, I pay, he pays, and... Like, you know, just different things. Like, he drives, I drive. But yeah, that's my first do. do. I think I like that one. Because yeah. you, you don't want him to feel like he's always have, having to pay. Or if she's working and you don't want her to feel like she's always the one that has to pay. My do is, is to uh, always trust your mate. Always make sure that you have trust. They knew what to do and I don't. <laughs> do have trust. Okay, well, do have trust. That can be. Do have trust and then don't make them feel like they can't trust you. Oh! Oh! oh. You like that? Oh, you like that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I'm in the wrong video. <laughs> Do's and don'ts. Jeremiah, say your do. My do is to, to always, like, for me, like, as a guy, always buy your ladies flowers. Like, no, but see that—that's where you shouldn't. It all depends on perspective on flowers. I personally don't like flowers. They die, and you gonna throw them away. No, I'm saying, but, like, giving, but, but aren't we all giving our perspectives? I know, but I'm just putting in my input. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, is like, so all right, so let's say my girl, right? Maybe she likes flowers, so I will always try to bring like every payday some flowers home or. Like, for example, if it was you, it could it could be like, you know what, like, I maybe like you like your favorite meal, bring home her favorite meal, or you don't like flowers, bring home, I know you like lashes, bring home some lashes, or I know that sounds a little weird, but like, a little so chocolate. You're, like, so always, you're saying, you're just saying like, be spontaneous. Yeah, like bring her, bring her what she likes. That's another, don't, like, don't ever be lazy. Don't ever forget about getting your girl what what she likes. Okay. Okay, that's good, that's good. Hey, for all those niggas out there. <laughs> My last do really is talk things out. If something's bothering you, say it. I guess that's more of like advice, but it's also like a you, something you should do in your relationship. You should talk things out. You <clears throat> just talk things out because what if something's bothering you and yeah. you hold it in and now you just have this What's it called? Like a burden over yeah. you, and now you're just acting it's weird. It's just when you have anxiety, and then your significant other feels like you're being like distant. Yeah, and they don't know what's going on, but you know what's going on, but you don't want to tell them. So which, you just can I say my don't? Yeah, yeah which go ahead. leads to that. Okay, so which with that being said, don't make your significant other feel guilty for telling you how they feel so if i go to my boyfriend and i tell him how i feel but he tries to flip the script on me and making me making it seem like you know how i feel i shouldn't feel that way that's just not something that you do because it might be a big deal to me but it might not be to him you know what i'm saying but at the end of the day they should, they should always just hear you out yeah because you guys are in a relationship 
That's all I have for dudes. I didn't, I didn't have say much. all my dudes. Okay, go ahead. And then give each other space. Yes. <laughs> give well, each other space. No, I guess that also depends on how far you are in your relationship. Like I know my last relationship in the beginning, I didn't want space. I wanted to be with him 24 seven, but bear in mind I was in high school. So yeah. I'd see him You're right. during school, after school, and then no night, and then Next. right in the morning. Like, yeah. You, but that's because I guess you were in high school, so you had a different. You were going through that lovey-dovey phase exactly. in the relationship. But and then as you get old, older. like older, you want space. You don't want to be with them 24/7. You want to go out and do your own. It's not true necessarily. Like, cause I think I, I think I'm not not just stuck on your toes or anything, but mm -hmm. I think that when when you actually care for somebody, that's like like you replace that person with like all your friends. You replace that person with. What? But see, but some people don't That's always true. don't see. Some people don't always think like that. Some people. People be like, because, oh, like I'm not gonna lose my friends for you. But it's see, it's that's, not, but, but that's, that's not when it goes. They... It goes back to my fault. It goes back to like, for example, it's like it's like, I'm not saying they're saying yo, well, you gotta give up your friend for me, but like it never, it, it should it, never not... get boring to that fact where you just need space because that person should always give you the bubble guts or. Or, or give you butterflies and or they should or which goes special. back to being spontaneous but at the same time like like okay i know like for you and situation <laughs> and you know whatever <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we're gonna edit this out no it can be edited out <laughs> okay i know i know certain situations where people live together and i know certain situations where people live five minutes from each other let's just put it that way and when if let's just say if, if let's just say if that person they're always at work and then they have like you know two off days and they spend like most of those days with you and you know they only spend it with you they don't really have any friends outside of that you know what i'm saying you want to give them you i don't know i feel like you want to give them some space because you don't want it to get to where y'all are spending so much time together to where where you lose love for yeah yourself, exactly because you're, you're not losing love but but at the end of the day sometimes you will get bored like not, i'm not saying it is going to happen but sometimes it can happen it can. like you get bored like you don't know what are y'all gonna do just sleep sit there sit there while look at game, each other. no but that's when it goes back to that's when it goes back to like like you feel me what i'm saying like you, you when you have a like a significant other you should never get to that point where y'all guys is bored like and you like, shouldn't though you should like for example if for example, like, like you should always have that 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 feeling, like, I right, for RJ, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, for you and RJ, right? I I think that if it was to ever get boring, you know, like, not saying that RJ don't have friends, but it could always be some something. Maybe he don't have friends that you can see personally, but not saying that his friends gotta replace you. But at the same time, yo, yo, like Jay, yo, call Jay, like yo, yo, how about y'all come out? And eat with us tonight, and we have fun. We have a fun night. We go to Top Golf. We have that. Right. It's always still that special moment, that memory that you could gain. Yeah, that's true. Which is significant. So I don't think I don't I don't ever believe in in giving your partner space because you want to fall out of love or. Oh no! Well, well or, you know, just not yeah, necessarily yeah, space. Let's just say no, but like, not necessarily space. Hold on, like not necessarily space, but let's just say y'all are living together. Things have gotten really serious. You come home from a long day. You know, the the baby's crying or something like that, or you had a long day. She's upset about something, but she, you had a long day at work and you really don't feel like hearing that. She might want to give you space no, to yeah, give you a chance to breathe. That's what I mean by space, not necessarily like meaning like, well, I'm gonna just stay away from you for a few days, la la la. No, just like you sit on the couch, you chill, you relax, you Oh, that's not the space head. I was thinking about. Okay. Well, well I, 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 I was saying that. I mean, like, just giving each other time to breathe a little. Since you're always with each other, I mean, it gets to that point. Or maybe we ain't on the same page. That, that's one of the dudes that you should always have, like, have, have like, that respect and that, that, that friendship also as well with your partner's friends and family. Because it brings more excitement out. It brings more fun in the relationship. When you guys can all everybody hang gets out. Everybody gets to yeah. have fun. And it never has to be that, oh, you have to drop this person. Fuck it. Let's go all go chill. Don't. I mean, we've already uh, talked you, are about you dudes with your? Are you done with your dues? Yeah, I get two, right? Yeah. I'm looking at my dog. 
All right, this is the biggest one, you guys. This is this is my biggest one. Now I don't go through it anymore. I know what this is. I don't go through it anymore, but it's something I've gone through in the past. Never feel obligated to send your person, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your I wouldn't say husband. Can you can I say? I mean, yeah, you know, anyways, your yeah, other yeah. person yeah. nudes. <laughs> you should never feel obligated if they're but if you don't feel comfortable doing that, then you shouldn't need wrong. to do it. No, it's not wrong. I'm gonna tell you why it's wrong. And I know but I I've why been is ashamed, it wrong. Like, okay, no, 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 look. But listen, I was in a long distance relationship, okay? I understand you're not supposed to cheat, okay? I know you're not allowed to cheat. You, you can't cheat because you're in a relationship. We're just speaking for those who, who are in that situation because a lot of girls go through this. They're in that situation, they don't feel comfortable but they really like the boy and they they want to make him happy and they want to keep him happy but at the same time they don't want to do they it. They don't feel comfortable okay, so, doing that and so, they and they're not that type of person right. maybe they just don't so you're going to sit there a uh, state away or uh, miles away and be like go touch yourself. One. Go 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 put on think, yourself and send it to me. I think that's crazy. <laughs> but I think I think right that if you're in a relationship it happens. If you're it in a does happen. It, you're right, it does. I think if you're in a relationship, <laughs> I personally think that that if if once you, Mom, if you once, watch this once, <laughs> once you become in a relationship, I think that that comfort I'm not sitting there saying that. No, I'm not but I'm not saying it's not comfortable. I'm just saying for her. I'm not I'm, yeah, it's yeah, just something she doesn't want to do. Then that's something that you gotta sit there and say, you know what? Yeah, but what if he hits out with that, oh then you don't love me, then oh you don't wanna be with me. I can he's, get then, too. then I feel like that's he's just childish. Yeah, he's he's childish. <laughs> I don't think saying, I don't though. think I don't think that a female should have to send nudes within the first two, three. No no no, y'all been together but for yeah, a matter But if you if you if you've been with this female for years no pain, no yes, mind or, or six months and better. I'm not going to say six months because that's a little premature too. But if you've been years and better, I think I think that there should be no excuse on why you don't send your man news. But, or you don't okay, send your girl news. Even that, let's just, but let's what just if say you don't you, feel comfortable? Like if he says, like that's, that's don't make me a video. Not, what don't if make you're me just not video. interested in doing that? Like, like you what, making that fake it? I'm not, I'm not saying. I'm not saying. What? Don't be what if he say send me a video? You a video of you of you make neck? Yeah. Rub that kick guy. <laughs> Rub that kick guy. I had to say it, you know, I think in an appropriate way. I think if y'all been together, I think that's something that you should do. Because at the end of the day, right? What you don't do, the next chick will. See dog, nah, you can't even but No, 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 no. Yes. I'm sorry, so you, but it's the truth. So, it's so you're truth. telling me right now, so you the guy. I'm ta let's, let's say I'm talking to a guy right now. He's, mm -hmm. let's say, out of state for some reason, or we can we just can't see each other, or for a little while. For a little while, yeah. Cause I'm busy, he's busy, he's working, I'm working. I ha I I need to send him. I, okay, now, now let me not say talking, cause you just said a period of time. I'm in a relationship with this person, mm -hmm. and we've just. Our schedules have been, been clashing and we just can't see each other. You're saying I have to send him stuff? I think, yeah, that's, uh, if he asks for it, yes. Okay, because what if, because I... if you was comfortable enough, right, to give this man a title, to put him as a title, to say that was my boyfriend, or that's my husband, or, or anything, you should be comfortable enough to send that man pictures. But there are other ways. <laughs> What are you gonna do on the phone? Stop contradicting us. I always feel like there's always a person out there that's that's better than you. Like no matter who you are. Can I do that? Like even me. There's always gonna be a guy out there that that has ten times more than me, and that does guys. and that does more than me. Same thing with your boyfriend. Yeah, there's yeah, like, there's, there's always gonna be that better yeah. person, but you maybe so you want that better person. But then, but then, go out but then for that is that, and you're right. But then. You shouldn't give me an option to go out there and say I ain't giving you no you option. You are. You are. Because. Well, they go. Well, well, you, you, know, by the time, if you can't respect that, nigga. You finna have no option. You finna go. You but, understand? But what happened if the next 10 guys feel the same way? Well, then. They clearly you need to go to the females. Hey, do the strengths, my nigga. <laughs> well, then, deuces to all the niggas. I'm not. 
Just, just me speaking for another. Girl. Okay, because we can be on this topic forever. For real. Clearly, cause wait, let me do. Y'all don't know Jeremiah, but Jeremiah can argue. I can all debate. He can I, day. I can debate. Debate all day. There's no telling this boy he is wrong. I mean, as soon as you hear, for example, that's it. You're done. You're done. <laughs> There, there, there is things that y'all say that is, that's correct. Yeah. So, <coughs> I don't. Okay, so let's just say your significant other comes over, you guys. You know, you guys don't live together. Your significant other comes over or something like that because they want to spend time with you. And y'all guys are just chilling. I'm just chilling. Don't be on your phone. Don't play your game, guys. Don't go to sleep. I feel like you're doing just <laughs> I'm not throwing shots. I'm just saying. No, but it's the truth good. because you you spent you took time out of your day to go hang out with them, and they're like this. That's something I. But they're like, get low, get low. That's definitely no. not to be better. No, I just got yeah. killed. <laughs> they on the game. I love you, babe. And you're not. You can't. You just. You, you can't do that. Did I you know said sometimes? I was gonna say that these wasn't about my relationship, but I just had to do it. I'm sorry. I love you. But I'm just saying, like. You know, you want to, but and I'm not but saying it's that it's truth. totally him. It's, it's both of you guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, you guys, if y'all are taking time out of your day or the other person taking time out of your or day. Or this the one day out of the week you guys see each other because you guys are just so busy. And, and y'all making time for each other. Spend time with each other. Literally, no phones. Do, no, do things watch you Watch a wouldn't. movie or something. Do, or do, go, on the pic, go on the picnics. Do, picnic. do things you don't usually do. Those picnics be special. Yeah, right. My my biggest don't is and I and I do this a lot in, oh. in my relationship is that is that um I feel like I'm I'm always like entitled or I feel like damn I feel like yeah I'm I'm entitled to everything like, I feel like I feel like some sometimes I'm not gonna say all the time I won't give it a benefit of the doubt you know, you know? wait so, I, I don't get it he's saying, are I feel you saying, like are you using like big how, words are you saying you feel entitled like are you saying like how well she's the female so she's supposed to do that? right so like I, that. and I, I feel like I feel That's like I never saying. I never give enough credit I, I'm always I'm always like all right you made you made some good food all right good looking. Oh, it's never a, yo. Thank you. I appreciate you feeding me that night. And oh, I, that's yeah, yeah. And I that's never, that reassurance. You have feel like to I never like your girl or I your guy. Like, yeah. Because what we a lot of guys do, right? What we do, we do a lot is like we take for granted what we got until it's completely gone, and then and then there's not there no more. back there, and then you just like you know, you fucked up in your brain, like you just like. All emotionally all over the place because you never know what this person is bringing to the table today really actually out of your life and then you're like, you know you get into something with somebody else and you like yeah well, like, such and such you yep. used to do this but you don't do that yep and you're like, yeah, which I, is something you you do not you yeah. don't need to do is compare your how yep. you don't, yep, you I, don't I do but I was too. just I wasn't you know I, I, I get what y'all saying I ain't comparing <clears> I'm just saying that was just an example of why no. you shouldn't take yeah which but, but that was maybe that's another don't don't compare your relationships. I'm gonna say my other one, cause you, okay, y'all can go all day with y'all. We was not. I was keeping my short and simple. We have to make a part two. <laughs> we will. Hey, there's two. All right, don't take your partner for granted. This is big, 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 cause in my last relation. <laughs> no, it's not. I said we just said this. No, but it's not. Y'all right, didn't sorry. say the example hey, go. I was gonna go. say. Oh, yeah, say your thing. Do your okay, so in my last relationship, like in the beginning, he would always open, try to try to open doors for me. He'd um, he try to uh, buy me things, and I'd just be like, no, I got money, I don't need you. Or yes. or I'd run, <laughs> I'd run to the door before him and push it open for my. I literally would run to the door and push it open. But and then like so eventually they stop and then it's like. It's like you have Damn, to keep that. Like, if they're trying to do and then that and now, then you and then I then you see stuff on like the internet and you're like oh that's so cute I wish somebody, somebody would do that yeah. for me and it's like you had somebody doing it for you but you just but you didn't of, you didn't want it so now they're doing it to somebody else if they're doing it to yeah, somebody if. else because they might have got comfortable in y'all's previous relationship together and felt like well that's not what you need to do yeah so but then again you know you never know but I get what you're saying I like that. Oh wait, I gotta say mine. Okay, so if your significant other does not want you to have certain people on your social media, then respect that and delete them, right? Yep. 
not saying that this is in my relationship, but this is just an example. Like, if you have certain people on your Snapchat and your significant other knows that you have that that person on your on your social media, did I say Snapchat? No, you said social, social media. media. Oh, I, I thought I said. I don't Snapchat. agree with that, but you'll find out on part two. No, you should, but you should respect that because maybe that makes them feel uncomfortable. Us because you know what that leads to I'm gonna tell y'all guys and oh, and y'all females right now <laughs> this this that leads to right that example all that leads to is 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 for you to take your your significant other's phone and be like well you talking to this bitch and I don't want that bitch on your phone and I don't want that bitch on your phone and I don't want that bitch on your phone and I don't want that bitch and then you know what you're gonna have you're gonna have a fucking friend list of, mo of motherfucking niggas and then you what's wrong with you know what you're gonna you want to see? You would that bad. Yeah, okay. but then I, what happened if that nigga don't have a bunch of niggas that he's swinging okay, his willy around on Snapchat? <laughs> that means I gotta watch a nigga swinging his willy on Snapchat because he's showing off. Meanwhile, I got a bunch of niggas. Well, why you got him on your Snapchat in the first place? Anyways, like I was saying, but if your girl is telling you to delete that many people off of your social media, that's then, too many. Again, no, one that, or two. First of all, that's extreme, and then two, you must be doing something. You gotta be doing something that's not, to that's make her feel that but way. That, but that's. But that goes back to to you as a female and you as a male. But have you also have to. But okay. But in order for her to have that confidence, you have to make her feel like she not make her feel, but prove to her that she's the only person in your life and that you're not. You know. Make what I'm her saying? exactly. No. Make her, not, it's, you can make her. Because when I get into a relationship, I don't sit there and say, "Yo, here, take my phone, go through it right now," so you know I'm. I'm I, you should trust me. No, no, it's not even. It's not even about that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you should, in order to help her. Keep her confidence and make her feel That's like That's when you tell you your know, girl she's beautiful. That when it goes back to every Friday when you get paid. And be like, you, you sexy. Then she don't yeah. want to hear you're beautiful yeah. when you commenting sexy on another girl's photo. But no. See? She said it. She just said it. Exactly what I said up that that would happen. What? She just said it. And she, it just it just leads to back to oh who, what bitch you talking to? Like and who you like, cheating? Who you cheating? That? Who you cheating on me on with? And, and and it goes no. back to yo, let me see your phone. So in that what case, the, when you get in the no, 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 wait, no, because that necessarily doesn't mean they were going through your phone. Because if you don't notice on Instagram, you go on this little heart or no, this uh, this heart section, and you scroll over to the side, I can tell who you commenting on. But this. when you go there, that that means you're looking for something. Oh hey, no, no, yeah. not exactly. So let's you're just looking say for something. Following the same no, people, right? yeah, but let's just say y'all following mm -hmm. the same people, right? And it'd be like, my nigga and 76 others like this photo, and it's a girl <laughs> been over showing her booty crack. I mean, come on, like, why, why you liking that? Are you, are you, are you serious? I'm dead serious. So, so then I, then at the end of the day, you shouldn't be fucking liking Jim Carrey's pictures. Jim Carrey is not sexy, so why would we be I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Okay, or, I was or giving you okay, not shades of free. Okay, not necessarily, okay. Or you shouldn't be coming home after a movie talking about, damn, he was Okay, let me, let me put it this way. His ex booty crack picture. How about that? Let's do that. <coughs> His ex's booty crack picture, so such and such in... That's where I, I just feel others. like, I feel like that, that... Me as a person, I feel like that to, to relieve all that problem that you shouldn't even have your significant other on social media. So you rather delete your significant other kind of than delete than oh, delete no, that right. nigga would. No, no, all right. So either delete me. There's two delete options. Me. There's two, delete me. There's two options. Delete me. There's two options you have. Right? <laughs> as a male, as a male, delete me. you don't have your significant yeah. other, or you just don't have the internet. Like you leave the social media to to the kids and, and to the single people. Honestly, because, and that's because, what I wanted. Because, do. because to be real with you, you all, all you're doing is, is like, setting you yourself up for failure. Of course, I need my fucking self. No, because not, all you're doing is, is looking for something. All right, so so let me ask all you. All right, we'll, we'll right, continue yeah, this in part, in two, part two, two if you guys really want a part two. Because I your mind can go all day on one topic. These, these girls is crazy. Baby. No, you is a... They bananas talking all right, crazy. let me All right, let me do my last my one. Is yeah, needs. Um, don't cheat. If you're unhappy, then just leave. There's no yes. reason to stay in a position where you're unhappy and if you're not in a healthy relationship. I think, I think, I think she's absolutely right with that one. I think that's, that's probably like my number one. I did that in my last relationship and it was, it didn't turn out good. You know, it was really bad. And exactly. There's like, there's no point to cheat. If you're not happy, leave. Really? Don't drag that person with you years and months or even and you like, yeah just don't cheat <laughs> yeah because I, I i i did i did bad on my last relationship i cheated and and it, it just dragged over like, like it just really dragged over 
to my new relationship and it just became a, a big thing, you know. So for the fellas out there, if you're not happy and you just wanna Wow, you finally saying something. Just move, move something on. that we both we all agree on. We're move not, on with yourself. Yes. Move, move on, like move on, let another, go. There's a million other females out there, you know. Or there's a million different guys out there. If you yep. wanna cheat, if you wanna be a little hoe, open your lace up, go do it, but don't do it when you're in a relationship. Y'all got that? Don't do it when you're in a relationship. And one of my don'ts is like, all right, don't don't be selfish, you know. Just just try to help. Like right now, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm making a fucking video. The baby was crying. I could have got up and helped. You. <laughs> so if you if you, if you it, heard the baby crying, if you, if you see and you video, kept seeing me go like this, yeah, I apologize. It's because I'm trying to make sure to her, he's you know, not she being does smothered. Work in the morning. <laughs> not, I could have I could have been doing. Something yeah, she has to work in the morning. He's just sitting here. Because these two pressured me to get in their video. They needed more views, you know. And, you could have told us no and said. I know they was gonna just sit there and talk a bunch of bullshit about about females and and all this extra. So in the next video, we should definitely have at least one more guy. Yeah, I'm telling you, cause because you 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 figure you figure out that that when no. when you get into a relationship that that you should always have respect for your others and and. And if they don't yeah. want to send nudes, you don't got to send nudes. Well, guys, if we are closing this off. Ladies, send nudes. We are closing this off. That's how you keep your nigga happy. Send them nudes. Pop that, that pussy. <laughs> but see you guys in the next video. If you want to guys want a part two, comment down below. Give this video likes, shares, and sure. comment.